Next, Jan goes to the boys' room to talk to Greg. Jan and Greg. Action. Greg. Yeah? You busy? Yeah. What do you want? I need some advice. Okay, shoot. It's about boys. I thought you shrewd females knew all about us poor dumb guys. Well, this is for a friend of mine. You see, she met this real cute guy and everything was groovy until then all of a sudden he lost interest. Why would a guy do this to my friend? Just lose interest. Maybe she's using the wrong kind of toothpaste. I'm serious, Greg. Well, how should I know? The guy probably found something about her that he didn't like. Such as what? Well, maybe she's got a face that it scares snakes. <laughs> she has not. Is she too fat? No. Too thin? No. Then it's got to be her crummy face. <sighs> Who is it? Just some poor, unfortunate girl. Thanks, Greg. Yuck, it's my crummy face. Greg was right. Rotten freckles. End of scene. The next scene has Mike and Carol in the kitchen. Mike smells something. Mm. Mike, Alice, Carol, and Jan. Action. Cinnamon cookies. They're Jan's favorite. I thought I'd make some to cheer her up. Well, I guess a shattered romance can be pretty tough at her age. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was 10 or 11. I had a big crush on a girl. Had three teeth missing in the front. You were the girl. No, <laughs> the girl. Yeah, she was all gums, but I loved her. Threw me over for a kid who could whistle through his nose. <laughs> oh, Mike. <laughs> I once had an offer of marriage when I was seven. Looking back, I should have taken it. Mom, can I go to the store, please? Well, don't be long, dear. Dinner's almost ready. Who can eat? I wish there was something we could do to make her feel better. Maybe we can give her some of her birthday presents in advance. Hey, better than that. How about a surprise birthday party? Wonderful. A party's the sure cure for the blues. With balloons and streamers and a cake and ice cream and everything? The works. And see, next, Alice rounds up the other kids to play in the party. Alice, Greg, Marsha, Bobby, Cindy, and Peter. Action. Now, this is a very important meeting. High-level, top-secret stuff. Uh, Jan isn't here yet. That's the whole point. We're planning a surprise birthday party for Saturday night. A surprise party? Neato. What do you want us to do? We'll do anything. Just tell us, Alice. Cindy, you're in charge of putting the candles on the birthday cake. You know how many to put on? Sure. I can even count high enough to put candles on your cake. <laughs> that many candles would be against the fire law. Marsha, you have the honor of baking the cake. Oh, great. Let's see. I'll bake a double chiffon, orange, three-layer, upside down, with pink frosting and peppermint sherbet filling. Bobby, you're going to be in charge of blowing up the balloons. That's a good job for Bobby. He's such a windbag. <laughs> Greg, you and Peter will be in charge of the decorations. Balloons, paper streamers, all that jazz. Now, any questions? Who's in charge of the ice cream? Oh, that's my department. Want to trade? You can blow up balloons, and I can be in charge of the ice cream. Are you kidding? That would be like putting a mouse in charge of the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and see. 